Hi guys, Ryan with Metz Machines here, and today I'm outside with our Yapa 365 fire processor. This is our demo unit that's been sitting here for a couple of years. This has been our kind of main production machine here at Metz, so we've been running it a lot these last couple of years. So that's kind of our demo unit. And next to it, we have the 422 log rack, and we've got that filled up with some smaller diameter logs. Today's video is gonna be pretty straightforward, pretty simple. All I'm gonna be doing is seeing how long it takes me to process all of those logs. I, last time I ran the machine, I had the six-way knife in it. I swapped that out to the four-way. Since we're doing the smaller diameter logs, there's no uh, need to really go that small with it. Um, and I think with these, I'll probably be doing a lot of them in half. I'm probably just gonna be doing a single split on the bottom of the four-way. Um, there's nothing really in here that needs to be split too much. I guess there's some that you can kind of, but um, for, for what we're doing out here, I'm gonna keep it pretty straightforward. So I'm gonna fire up the machine. It hasn't run it all the day, so it's gonna be a cold start. We're gonna fill the crates, see how long it takes. I'm gonna set a timer and start making some firewood.
Okay guys, there you have it. Just finished processing up this firewood. Just took over, just over 20 minutes to get everything done. Uh, I stepped away from the processor and just once throughout that process and that was so I could slew the conveyor over. You could see that was the pile we uh, started making and then I uh, pivoted it over so we started on this pile here just to make it a little bit easier to level out. Um, this crate was full. I'd say we probably did with these logs. Let's see, three crates is a face cord. Um, I'd say we got at least three crates of wood. That one was empty when I started. This one was about two thirds of the way full. This one was empty. This one, this one didn't get filled at all. Uh, I got some wood on the ground. So I'd say about a third, a third of a cord to a half of a cord of firewood out of that, about 20 minutes. It's a smaller diameter log, so there's a lot more cutting. Um, and with that, that's why we kind of tell people, you know, one to two cord an hour is what to expect with uh, the 365. The diameter of your log that you're processing is gonna make a big difference. If you're doing smaller diameters, um, you're gonna fly through the wood very quickly. The thing is you're gonna be spending a lot more time sawing than if you're doing bigger splits with a six way or even if you're just doing big four way splits. Um, so those are all factors to th keep in mind when you're figuring out how much you're gonna be producing per hour. Uh, with the 365, if you're doing stuff like this, I mean, you'll fly through it. Um, easy to hit a quarter an hour with this kind of production, with those kind of logs. I only jammed it up once and that was um, the second to last log and that was because that one had a big um, split in it where another branch had come off. And I wanted to resplit that just because I didn't want that big chunk going into our wood bins. Because um, most people here are using our wood for, you know, campfires, bundle, we're doing them in bundles, things like that, uh, small indoor stoves. So people really want that smaller diameter uh, material. So that is the Appa 365 Pro with the 422 rack. That's how long it takes to process a cord of small logs, mainly ash today. There was a couple maple in there. Um, one other thing to touch on quick is you might have seen at some points I uh, pulled off a lot of the bark on some of the logs. With the ash, it's been sitting here for a while and we've been getting a lot of rain. When that happens, that bark tends to kind of hold on. And if it's on the underside of the log, when it goes into the cutting chamber, once you cut it before the, lo the log will start to kind of sag down and the saw won't hit that bark. And that's when you run into issues in the split chamber where it might sag down and then bind between the splitting ram and this piece right here, which would can cause the concentric arm to get split, uh, pushed by the splitter and damage that piece. So whenever that happens, I always open the guard right away to stop the splitter from engaging. Um, but I mean, once you get used to it, that's a pretty easy thing to kind of keep in mind. Otherwise you can disable the automatic split cycle. It's again, a quick adjustment, but that is today's video. Hope this was uh, informative. If you have any questions on the Appa 365 or any of the other processors, please leave a comment below or reach out to us or one of our dealers. We'll be happy to help you. As always, thanks for watching.